I would like to buy some uh, strawberries. Shopping in a street market or standing in a bar with friends having a beer. Since his cycling accident over 12 years ago that left him paralyzed, these are the things Gert Jan has long dreamed of. Today they are possible thanks to a unique technology developed by Swiss neuroscientists. The Dutchman can walk using a so-called digital bridge, a device that reads his brain waves and sends instructions to his spine to move the right muscles. Four years ago, I think it was like me being like very uh, focused and afraid of falling and now I feel more confident and um, of course be able to talk makes it more fun uh, to be able to look around because I wasn't and um, yeah I think uh, I can build on that for the future. It's the latest breakthrough from a team of researchers in Lausanne who have a long-standing program to develop brain-machine interfaces to overcome paralysis. Normally the brain sends signals via the spinal cord to the muscles, but when it's broken due to an injury, it results in paralysis. Thanks to wireless implants and technology, communication is restored between the brain and the spinal cord that are disconnected. This implant registers electrical activity of the brain using a matrix of electrodes which is placed on the surface of the brain following a simple surgery involving making a hole in the skull. Brainwaves are processed by a computer and transmitted in real time to further electrodes in his spine. Pulses activate nerves in the spine, switching on muscles to produce the intended movement. The brain spine device is the latest development by the team from EPFL after years of research. In 2012, they enabled a paraplegic rat to walk again. In 2016, brain implants allowed paralyzed monkeys to walk. Then five years ago, the first human who walked thanks to stimulation of their spinal cord via a wireless implant. And today it's a device that reads a patient's brain waves and sends instructions to his spine to move the right muscles.